Water bucket MLG. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video inside of my world. Today we're going to be building a pretty massive structure so that we'll be able to in the future fit what I want to do either a village trading hall or a like super smelter with a uh, renewable energy. But I'm, I'm just going to build a massive structure to cover up pretty much you know another farm I guess you could say or a super smelter. I don't know which one I want to do. I'm going to be built oh as you can see guys. If you, uh, you were watching my uh, Let's Play series, I cleared out most of this land over here so it's flat. And we're going to be building our big structure over there. And pretty much today we're just going to be clearing out. We're not going to be clearing out. Today we're just going to be building it. And next episode I'm actually going to put the stuff inside of the big structure. So like I said, either I want to do a villager trading hall where we can just get a bunch of enchantment books for ourselves. Like I really need mending. Like, you see this pickaxe here? I spent, like, probably four hours fishing for mending on this pickaxe. Okay, that took a very long time. But, oh my god, when I got that book, whew, I was so happy. But anyways, we're gonna go build our structure. But before we do that, let's announce the this episode's uh, people that I'm gonna be shouting out in the Hall of Fame. The first one is gonna be Call Mary 4 n which I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. But they said, you know, they called my video pretty good, and I was like, wow. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. And the second person is my sister Yossi because she commented in the video being like, hey, where my shout out at? And I was like, you know what? You're right. I completely forgot. So my sister Yossi is also going to be in the Hall of Fame now. So anyways, we're going to just move on to the build. And I'll show you guys. As you can see, I'm a pretty messy person. There's a bunch of chests over there. But this build is going to consist mostly of quartz and sandstone. And you'll see why it's, you know, there's a kind of a big delay in between this video and the other one. It's because I had to get all the enchantments for this pickaxe, a fortune three, and I had to gather all the materials. I had to get all this smooth sandstone from the desert. I traveled across like the Red Sea over there to go to the darn desert, get all this sandstone, get the, the glowstone, which wasn't too bad. Then you have the quartz, which took forever. It was just ridiculous. The amount of like grinding I had to do for this this one video. But you know what? That's alright. Quality over quantity. Uh, you know, or at least that's what it should be like. But anyways, let's start building. I'm gonna do a little bit of the build without a time lapse. Or maybe should I do a time lapse or should I just build a little bit? Now let's do a time lapse and I'll just talk over the time lapse. So anyways, we'll start the time lapse right now, but before that, we're gonna be building over here and go okay as always i do provide commentary over my time lapses because i don't want you guys to sit through an eight minute time lapse almost eight minutes not completely eight minutes but almost eight minutes i don't want you guys to sit through that entire thing and be like wow this is boring no commentary at all but anyways i'll talk about the build a little bit and then i'll probably talk about not probably i will talk about other things since you know i can't talk about the build for the entire eight minutes because there's not enough stuff to talk about but uh, starting off, you will see I do pillar up in the beginning with the court pillars, and that's just part of the build. Most of this build is consisting of, you know, uh, quartz and sandstone, and the inside is made of spruce, and you have a little bit of glowstone. That's pretty simple palette. You do have the different types of quartz, obviously. You have the staircases, not smooth quartz, by the way, just regular. You could use smooth, store, smooth quartz if you wanted to, but you see the staircases, slabs, the pillars, everything used together all to make these intricate designs and such and you'll see mostly it's just the pillars and then the back sides with the details you know those little arches in the back everything just comes together to make this build obviously i added a cross in the front because i am a jesus lover so <laughs> why not um but you also see i added glowstone in the build because one of the problems was when i was building the prototype it, when it was nighttime it was super dark in the inside and the outside wasn't like the build wasn't just lit up enough so I was like, huh, what's a subtle way I can make my build light up? And I was like, wow, what if we made glowstone a part of the build to make it look like it's a part of the build, but also acts as, you know, light source. And I was like, yeah, we could do that. Why not? <laughs> you know? So obviously there's some good places to put the glowstone behind the cross. Also in the backside behind the windows you see, or not really the windows behind those like birch trap doors. You'll see I add them. 
Also, the entire roof took so much quartz. This entire thing took a very long time because I had to gather all the resources. Like I said in the beginning, I had to get my pickaxe with mending on it, you know, fished for like four hours for that mending book. And then I had to travel in the never, nether and gather all the quartz. It just took a lot of effort for this build. And you know what? That's fine because in the end, I really liked how it turned out. So that's pretty much it for this build. Pretty simple. Next episode, we'll move on to the interior. Interior, like I said, I want to be super smelter room, which if you guys don't know what a super smelter is, those for you guys who, you know, maybe are unaware of what that is, pretty much it's just like where you put like items you want to smelt inside of a chest, and then a hopper takes the, those items outside of the chest, and then it places them into a bunch of furnaces at once, and it like really just smelts items very fast for you. And all you have to do is just put the item you want to smelt inside a furnace. And also I want to put a renewable energy source, I'd probably be kelp, because kelp is a really good energy source once you uh, cook it into dried kelp. So all that's really good for just anything, I guess you could say. But anyways, I don't want to talk about the uh, build for this entire time lapse, so I'll move on to like, you know, the channel and stuff. Ooh, ooh, some good news, good news. Michael, my friend who I started a channel with, for those of you who don't know, He's in military and training right now, but he's going to be coming back from his basic training in a couple of weeks, which means we're going to be able to make more content. And, you know, I really enjoy making videos with Michael because, I don't know, it's just like you act your best when you're with the people you like spending time with. If you'll notice in my first ever video I made, even though it's like probably not my best video, you, you could definitely tell I was just very happy to be making a video with my friend Michael, one of my best friends, Michael. Just he really brings out the best of me. So, you know, when he comes back, we're going to be making a little bit of some, we're going to be making some Fortnite videos because he likes Fortnite. I like playing Fortnite with him. I don't really like playing Fortnite by myself, but I do enjoy playing Fortnite with him. Also, we'll continue the Minecraft Let's Play series. Duh. The series is going to be going on for a very long time. I hope, you know, <laughs> knock on wood right here. Right? So, and what else is in the future? I mean, we're going to do the mod showcases. There's this cool Batman mod that recently got released, or updated, I should say, that I want to do a review on. Also, there's plenty of mods that I could do a review on. I did the uh, TNT mod. That one was uh, okay. I enjoyed that mod. But there's obviously better ones that I want to do. I also downloaded a Hunger Games map, so hopefully my uh, brother and his friends will do a Hunger Games map with me. You know, that would be some good fun. So, you know, what else? I mean, the theme of this video, I mean, I think not only... You should, you know, I'm going to talk about, like, what I'm grateful for. You know, I think there's plenty of things in life to be grateful for. I'm very grateful that, you know, I'm having this YouTube channel and it's doing well so far. I mean, to me, like, I have 71 subscribers and that may seem like a small amount as of now. But I'm very incredibly grateful that, you know, 71 people would consider subscribing to my channel. So that just, it really makes me happy. You know, all the people that's helped me along this way, you know, my older sister Yossi texting me saying that she enjoyed my videos, that, that brings a smile to my face every time. You know, whenever people comment saying, hey, this is a pretty good video, even though I'm like, yeah, it's not the best video, but them just saying it's a pretty good video, I'm like, wow, thank you, that makes me happy. And people just commenting down suggestions, I'm like, wow, you know, it just brings a smile to my face. I have a lot to be grateful for, so thank you guys all, all so much for you know, being with me this far, even if you're not subscribed, you're still watching this video, you're contributing, I really appreciate that. That's all I could really ask for, to, or really ask for, to be honest. But, anyways, enough with the jibber jabber. If you guys have, like, any recommendations, as I said before, I'm always open in the comment sections for any recommendations if you had. I know that I didn't explain the requirements for the Hall of Fame in the beginning of the video. If you guys want to get in the Hall of Fame, all you have to do is comment, subscribe, and like the video and you know if the favorite comment i'll usually pick in the beginning since you know the hall of fame is at its uh, works i will be picking multiple people per an episode if you guys are new here the hall of fame concept is pretty much each time i hit a major milestone on my channel i'm going to be making a new section of the hall of fame and the first section i want to dedicate to is 100 subscriber mark so you know hurry up and get in the section or get in the hall of fame section before that you know marker hits which i think we'll be hitting pretty soon Actually, I hope we could get 100 subscribers before Michael comes back. That'd, you know, that'd be cool. But, um, you know, anyways. Like I said, you guys should recommend anything down below or just saying I have, like, critiquing my videos. I'm always, you know, very, I love critique because it makes my videos better. And even if you're like, Kayvon, 
you, 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 you know, your audio sucks. And I'll be like, you know what, you're right. I need to change my voice for the better. You know, anything helps. Even you just watching this video, that, that really helps. Watching the entire video and enjoying it. So, you know, thank you guys all so much for just sticking with me this long in the video. And I think we'll just, you know, head back in the time lapse now and then I'll probably conclude the video. But yeah. Alright everyone, welcome back. As you can see, that took a very long time. It took me approximately, well, gathering all the res- Actually, I'll probably talk about it in my time lapse, I don't know. I record the audio for the time lapse later. But yeah, this took a very long time to do, probably close to two hours just to build this. I'm not even talking about gathering all the resources and stuff. And then I also had to build a prototype in my, uh, you know, creative world. But anyways, as you can see, I uh, really like how this build turned out, you know. It crossed right there because I really felt like I needed to add that. The sides look okay. You know, there's just a lot of detail to it. And especially the backside. I like the backside. Not as much as the front side, obviously. But, yep. Very nice. Couple arches going around like that. I think the quartz and the smooth sandstone are a really good palette together. And then, you know, the spruce floor. Uh, you know, I just felt like, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to add spruce floor. Because, you know, why not? Anyways, next episode, I probably plan to start doing what I plan with this inside, which is either make it like a super smelter room with a bunch of like renewable farms, so like a kelp farm to get like burnt kelp or cooked kelp, because you know, that's a pretty good fuel source, or maybe bamboo farm, I don't really know yet, or I might make it like a villager trading hall, you know, with a bunch of villagers lined up, that way you could get some trades going, I don't know, I'll figure it out, maybe someone wants to comment down what they think I should probably do in the house, but... Anyways, you know, as always, I'll go out a little bit farther that way you guys can see it. Pretty nice. Like I said, I really do enjoy this build. But anyways, you guys already know what time it is. Time to go up to the water bucket MLG tower and finish off the episode as we always do. Um, so far, we've actually done pretty good. I think, you know, we've had like six episodes or something where we landed it. I don't know. Hopefully this episode we don't fail. Uh, I'm going to jinx myself. But anyways, I'll see you guys up top. Hey everyone, now we're back up top of the tower. As you can see, the building does look... It's pretty far though, but it does look pretty good from a distance. You can see the world's starting to come together. Not a good view of our house. But yeah, oh, that spot right there. Uh, I don't know if you guys know. If you are new, if you are new, I'm going to plan to do a wizard tower over in that spot. And actually, did I mention that at all? I think I might have mentioned it in like second video i want to build a wizard tower over there because wizard towers are, are cool but yeah you can see the farm down there uh i don't think the wheat's rendering but yeah there is wheat over there trust me then you have their building that one you know took a very long time because of the copper aging and then you have our newest building right there which is just the church pretty much but we're gonna put uh stuff inside of it but anyways guys i really appreciate for all of you who stuck around this far and all of you who didn't you know, you guys still clicked on my video and watched some of it, which is, you know, good enough for me. But anyways, if you are new here and haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing and greatly appreciate it. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Water bucket MLG. Oh my god. Dude, I don't know what counter that is, but I've, I've done it again. I've done it again.